With infected teeth or gums, every bite of food forces germs from the infection into the bloodstream, which carries the poison on to every part of the body. And this may cause very serious illness. That's a very jolly prospect for me. And for thousands like you. Unfortunately, people don't realize the importance of hardening the gums to resist injury. Now, this young man in the boat can give us a tip about that. Blisters. Because his hands are soft and out of condition. But look at these hands. Constant hard work has made them as tough as leather. No chance of blisters there. Now, remember the Eskimos and all the hard work they give to their teeth? This toughens up their teeth and gums, just in the same way as the boatman's hands are toughened with hard work. Now look at the tough, hard things they eat. Every time they bite, they are exercising their teeth and circulating the blood, keeping teeth and gums healthy. The tough food is rubbing against the gums, hardening them against injury. No wonder there is no word in the Eskimo language for toothache. Here is an Eskimo child, four years old. His teeth are worn smooth and polished. The gums are hard and healthy, and this is a perfect mouth. And here is another Eskimo child brought up in civilization, eating the kind of food that we eat. Well, look at the difference. 